pardon the background noise it's rainy today in Pompeii I wanted to show you a capability that might be useful to you setting it up is a little bit nuanced and I'm not going to try to cover that today but I'm going to go down here there's a capability in canvas to use an external tool called studio which the uh, is included in the college's current pilot subscription I've added to my studio a couple of my YouTube videos you can add YouTube by URL you can also add your own files but I still prefer to run YouTube because it'll run embedded and it will play better but that said uh, one of the features is that you can then it, with them in studio you can then embed them in assignments and let me go ahead to assignments where I've embedded uh, one of those videos I've actually embedded it with a quiz and again there's uh, some nuances and it, it took me uh, a while to go through this but there are excellent support materials available the guides are really good at walking you through the steps I did a couple wrong steps I had a backtrack it took me a, a few tries to get to, to where it worked I clicked in the wrong place but let me show you what this does first it's currently in an assignment that I can assign to the students and set to have uh, to grade uh, potentially and what what can I know well I can know who viewed it test student is the sandbox student in the course there's no students in the sandbox course so I viewed it test student hasn't even viewed it yet uh, but I viewed it and you can see I've only viewed it in a very narrow range I skipped the beginning and I skipped the end and I'm gonna do the same in a moment you'll see why but it lets me see exactly who watched what part of a video when it's part of an assignment and the assignment could be some other submission but to me the real power in this comes from the ability to um, to let me show you what I mean in a moment let me drop out to the student view for a moment here I'm in the student view watch the video take the quiz so I'm gonna get started that's what I was the directions I put in there I'm gonna go ahead and jump up to uh, just ahead of it you see the question mark I can hide or show that that's that's going to be where a quiz will pop up now you probably don't pick up the audio off of this uh, video because he, uh, I'm not certain I'm in screen capture mode it pauses and asks me questions right in the middle and I just covered this and so the student can sit there and say okay I think it's that and then they can continue they can also rewatch it so although it takes some work to learn to set them up uh, I I figured it out I think others can too it's really useful if you do have a lot of videos and you do want to be able to uh, have uh, students answering quiz questions say during a video and fair or unfair it would force the student to go through the video and answer quiz questions it could be scattered throughout I put just one in as a as an example but they could be scattered anywhere in the presentation and so they they go through that and then uh, when the students done uh, that, that gets then uh, it's submitting as an external tool here in my student I can see what my results are yet well I'm I'm a test student I'm not sure I know how to submit from here but uh, you can see that there uh, so there's some pieces I'm still I haven't I'm not a true student I'm just a sandbox student on an external tool I'm not sure what my where my I think I might have to get to the end and then uh, I might be able to submit uh, but even that I'm not sure of so there's my my juggling quiz is done oh there we go I watched <laughs> I don't get to submit the quiz till I get to the end I'm learning as I go
submit my quiz. I want to see my results. Okay, I didn't do so good. Uh, I, I missed that. That was wrong. The correct answer. Ah, one ball. Hey, there we go. So, I actually had to go to the end of the quiz to answer the quiz. So, as I say, a bit, uh, a bit subtle to set up. It's really a, a set of steps to set these up. Some of which are just not obvious. But I got through it once and I could certainly help somebody else through it. If I fumbled through it once, someone else can learn to do it and become quite expert at it and probably find ways to get it done more efficiently than I did. But that's a capability that Canvas has. And as a student now, I think I have a grade. Well, I, I'm failing. But <laughs> I, did get a I, I did get a grade on that quiz right up here. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not doing too good in the class. But uh, th that particular quiz it sits not in the quiz pages that's a bit of a let me leave the student view here uh, it sits in the assignments page external tools don't sit there but I can set it up with all of the capabilities that I would normally have for an assignment uh, a title description points uh, that it, that that's a part of how I got it set up in the first place and then assigned out and so it does let me do this quiz during a video capability is possible um, and it may be a valuable tool in a course that heavily uses quizzes you can embed the quizzes how long it would take to do the work to set up quizzes on top of videos I, I, I don't know it, it, it took, took me about half an hour or so to reading through stuff to figure out how to do this I guess when we get more efficient at it with time the quiz can have some different types of questions uh, on it there are uh, different types of questions but uh, I'll have to go back to my student view and reset my student in order to um, do that once the quiz is taken it can't be edited that did note that at one point when I was fumbling around you do have to um, you do have to have it all set up in advance because once student scores start landing the quiz structure and questions effectively become locked but this is the one with my quiz in it and what I found was I have to go back to my library it looks similar but it has a different menu that's a subtle step that I still don't yet understand when I first open studio I don't get this menu but I can get back now to this quiz. Uh, the reason it's saying a new revision is because as a test student, I took the quiz, so it actually thinks I have a standing score in there. But here's where I actually worked on the quiz and how I set it up. And you can see here, that was the screen I set it up by. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to discard that. But if I go somewhere else, and in it, I can then potentially revise it to add other other questions although I'm not so certain whether I can add I can edit but whether I can add from this screen is less clear to me um, but that said it is possible to set up quizzes with questions in videos there's a lot of pieces I don't know uh, don't yet know and I'm not yet any kind of expert at and the rain is certainly slowing things down there's my plus when I go to plus I have three types of questions that's what I was looking for this plus what makes it appear or not appear? I'm not sure. <laughs> I, just gotta click. I guess I just got to click on this bar. But when I go to plus, I can have multiple choice, true, po true, false, or something called multiple answer. I guess they have to type, type an answer or something. Oh, I have to have a question and then they have to type an answer. So, a limited number of questions, three different types, but uh, that does let you integrate quizzes on top of videos potentially sorry it's such a rambling long disorganized video with rain background but it is a capability in canvas that I saw last spring and I, th I think could be useful for running uh, quizzes into videos during a during a, to 
Let's see if the students are paying attention. And of interest to me, I just realized I have to go to the end of the uh, video before I can submit it. Uh, boy, you could see uh, some of my hour-long videos. That could be rough on the students who have been choosing not to watch it. Uh, that's all I'm trying to do today.